Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're gonna mess around with this here 67 Chevelle. We're gonna try to do some fancy, some fancy paint art, let's call it. Paint art, okay? Basically what these guys are doing is they're taking angle grinders and they're grinding flame-like patterns in their metal and then putting candy paint over it. So I figured today we'll just give it a shot with the Dremel and uh, we'll see how it looks. So let's get cracking. So I went ahead and stripped our car down. I think maybe to start we'll try something like this. A nice little rounded diamond burr. So I'm gonna just start going at it here and we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> Well, so far, it's already looking kind of holographic, even though, you know, we're literally just kind of <laughs> scratching up the hood of this car. I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to make this thing real crazy. Now imagine if that thing was just painted like red or some candy red. Ooh, it'll be crazy. Made a little axle tube for the front. So assuming once those are glued, they should be good. That looks good to me, boss. I think we could go ahead and glue those in place. Should have a nice stance. It's gonna be exciting. We could use this technique like anywhere, man. It's gonna be real sweet. All right, let me get these things glued. Hell yeah, man. This thing's gonna be sweet. I don't know if you guys are excited for this one yet, but I am, I'm stoked. <laughs> I love custom paint and stuff. Alrighty, let's do some stripes. Get myself a fresh blade. And we need some vinyls. So next time we try this, this is when we would do our flame pattern, tape it all out, and then we would paint our candy flames. And then you gotta mask your flames off and go back and paint the rest of the body. So that would be a heck of a lot of work. I should be able to knock some stripes out. Something like that. Decent looking stripes. That'll work. Click, 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 click. Sweet. Switch her over to the back. Thank you guys for listening to all your favorite brands in the last video. I appreciate that. I got tons of comments, tons of suggestions. It's perfect. I'll make sure to give you guys a shout out whenever I use your your uh, your ideas. So keep them coming, guys. I, don't, I appreciate it. I was also thinking maybe we should do a car for the ladies. Uh, we got six six and a half percent female viewership. What kind of car would you guys like to see, ladies? Speak up. Now's your chance. We should at least have six percent of the videos dedicated. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Bink. Like that. Oh, I got a little bit of nudity. Sorry about that. Alright, why don't you give me a second. I'll get this all masked up here. All right, I'm off to the spray booth. Hopefully we can see our effects through the black candy. I guess we'll find out in a second.
So now we're going to keep this going and I'm going to lay down some red candy. This is 2K urethane from the Redline shop. I thin this out with regular 2K clear coat just so I don't use so much red at one time. If you use a full strength out of the bottle it's almost too much in one pass so you end up with your color being way too dark way too fast so I like to thin it out with clear coat which is totally fine. So we're going to leave the black stripes where they are and we're going to lay the red over top of the black stripes so it's going to kind of tint them down a little bit but with all this other craziness going on we should have a pretty crazy looking car. So let's head back to the spray booth and we'll spray a little bit of this red and we'll see how this thing looks. Using my Gundam wash to put a little extra oomph in that grill. I don't know if you guys remember this marker from back in the day. Really kind of darkens things up. Starts to make things look a little bit real. Hell yeah, man. I don't know about you guys, but painting little teeny details on these chrome bases, man, it just makes me go cross-eyed. Any of you guys have the same problem? Let me know in the comments. It's probably just my lights. I got a lot of studio lighting happening here to make sure the videos are nice and bright. Base is looking good. The thing's looking real. Look at that thing. We're just waiting for our paint to dry, as always, and I'm going to do a quick assembly, and then we'll do the reveal. This is going to look amazing in the light box, so hopefully you guys are still with me. Give me a few minutes to do an assembly, and we'll check this thing out. Okay. So here's our 67 Chevelle. I'm not sure how well the effect is coming across on camera. It looks pretty good to me. I think there's a little bit of room there though to experiment further with maybe using different tips. I think the bolder the grind mark, the better it's gonna look. So I might've been a little bit timid with the tip size that I used. So I think next time I might use something a little bit larger just to try to really make it nice and bold underneath there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Pitchy, 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 pitchy.